Hello again. Now the ITV News in London. The 14-year-old boy who was stabbed to death in Newham yesterday has been named as Faraz Martu. Faraz was attacked on Barking Road. Emergency services treated his stab wounds for 30 minutes before he died at the scene. Officers have arrested a 14 and 15-year-old boy on suspicion of murder. Another 15-year-old boy has been arrested in connection with the attack. A teenager has been shot and another was stabbed after a gunman opened fire at a shop in Hackney. The shooting reportedly happened at Cake and Custard Factory on Kingsland Road just before 11 o'clock last night. Both men, who are 15, were taken to hospital and their injuries are not thought to be life-threatening. Police are still looking for the gunman. Spurs Stadium has been hosting a pop-up COVID-19 vaccination clinic today. The site's walk-in centre aimed to deliver around 2,000 Oxford AstraZeneca vaccinations. The first doses were available to anyone over the age of 45. So uptake in Haringey is, is definitely improving and going really well. Um, we've had a lot of measures to try and improve uptake, particularly in certain communities where patients are a little bit hesitant about the vaccine. And we've really shown that that has uh, helped people feel really confident about the safety and efficacy uh, and effectiveness of the vaccine in the past few months. A 10-year-old from Ilford who is doing his first month of fasting this Ramadan is marking the occasion by raising money for people living in food poverty. When Xavier Khan found out that almost 8.5 million people can't afford to eat properly in this country, he decided to make a video diary to raise money for charity. Natalia Horkera went to meet him. A trip to a restaurant might seem like a strange choice for 10-year-old Xavier, who's fasting during Ramadan. But he's not here to eat. He's here to cook for charity. My passion is eating and my hobby is cooking, so they both go together really well. He's been teaming up with London chefs to cook iftas, the meal served at the end of the day during Ramadan when Muslims break fast. Ramadan is the best time to do charity work. It's about giving back to your community and um, just helping out others that um, are needy and don't have much, like, are less fortunate. Promoting his creations on his daily vlog, Ramadan Kid, so far Xavier has raised over £1,500 for Human Appeal's UK food parcels. Human Appeal is a UK-based charity um, uh, and because I'm a British Muslim, I wanted to give out to the community that's near me. This is Zavia's first time fasting and making these meals just for the camera hasn't always been easy. When we're frying or he's cooking something really delicious, he'll suddenly be like, I need a break. And then he'll run out of the room and stick his head out the window and get some fresh air because the, 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 the waft of the food and the cooking and the smells making his stomach hungry. I've made chicken tikka wrap, a watermelon quinoa salad and Nutella French toast. And what's been your favourite meal that you've made so far? Uh, chicken tikka wrap. <laughs> In 2020, Zavia's chosen charity, Human Appeal, handed out over 4,500 food parcels. And with the funds he's raising, he hopes they'll be able to give out even more this year. Natalia Horkera, ITV News. Now let's take a look at what's happening in today's sport. Keeping up to date. Hi. Hi Hi, proud sponsors of ITV Regional Sports Report. In rugby, the Harlequins beat London Irish, ending the game 25 to 21. And good news too, over in Twickenham for England in the women's Six Nations. They beat France 10-6. Saracens' Poppy Cleal scored the only try of the game. And in football, Watford sealed a promotion back to the Premier League after a narrow home win over Millwall. Ismail Assar's 11th minute penalty gave the Hornets a 1 0 victory. Now here's Amanda with the weather. Great Western Railway sponsors the ITV London Weekend Weather.
Hello again. Hope you've all had a lovely weekend so far. Well, the weather certainly delivered plenty of sunshine throughout today. We're expecting more of the same as we go into Sunday. But if you are after a little bit of rainfall for the gardens and fields, we'll see a slight change as we go into next week. This low pressure here is going to drive a little system across the UK. So there is the potential. We'll see a little bit of rainfall as we go through Tuesday and into Wednesday. But overall, still plenty of fine and settled weather to come. Now for the rest of this evening and tonight you can see here it's a quiet picture, it's dry, we've got clear skies that's allowing the temperatures to fall fairly chilly especially in some rural parts where we'll see a touch of frost so a nippy start to the day tomorrow at first thing but once again plenty of sunshine will be developing it's staying fine and dry out there a bit more cloud coming our way as we go through the afternoon we've got that chilly breeze so it will be feeling cooler than what it was out there today this time we're expecting highs up to around 11 possibly 14 degrees it will be feeling cooler out towards the east and more fine weather to come on monday and the potential for some rain on tuesday bye bye great western railway sponsors the itv london weekend weather we're back tomorrow at 10 to 7, so from the team, bye-bye.